Hey there, it's Kaylee with JNR Outdoors. Today we're going to be unboxing the Outlet Bait and Tackle Secret Bait Box. First time ever doing this. So here we go. Okay, we got a few things on the top. We've got $5 off to bait, uh, Outlet Bait and Tackle. Uh, spend it wisely. We have the um, bobber stopper knot tying instructions to a card and five fun facts on the other side of the card. Like the first one is the fastest fish is a selfish. You can swim as fast as the car travels on the highway. Did not know that. And we're going to do two. Most fish have taste buds all over their body. Wouldn't that be a little weird? I thought it'd be weird, you know, but we have two stickers, two, and they say Outlet Bait and Tackle Secret Bait Box. I guess we got lucky getting two stickers. Okay, so we're getting into the good stuff. First, we had the Atomic Mites by Power Bait. They are used for crappie. And I mean, I asked some questions. I'm going to, I've asked, uh, I think that it'd be kind of weird if someone used it like for bass fishing. So, like, when this video is over, I'm going to do some questioning about this little bait right here. We got trialing line. It's four pound. Um, it's the best line out there. We like to use it preferably. My family does. Um, we have the Kalen's um, Ultimate Series quarter ounce jigs. Oh, it's smushed. Woo! And then we have the walleye rigs. It's the Colorado blade. It has double rig. Two, uh, number two hook sizes. And it has, we have the Kalen's bucktail jigs. It's three and eight ounces. We'll show them to you. After uh, all this is done, um, the opening, I will do some, uh, what do you want to call it? Showing you how to break things and what they look like. We have the Kalen's glow in the dark scampy lure. When you get one, you need to look in the dark. Let's see if it works first. It does it does work in the glow in the dark, but I don't understand why they use it for the glow in the dark. And we have the Gary Yamato uh, Yamamoto custom bites. It's um, really really long worms, and it's got like um, a white color, and it's got like silver glitter spark specs in it and we ordered another thing from the outlet bait and tackle but it didn't come out of the secret tackle box bait box I mean it is the 3D suicide duck it is uh, it says savage gear lures with the attitude and um, it's a top bait lure it's really big. This one is the wood duck, right? It's the wood duck. This it says that it's from the Savage Gear, and it's the first to combine 3D scanning and 3D modeling to in the quest to produce the perfect lure, the appearance, and swimming action. So. 
let's get started with opening these. So first we're gonna open the power bait and atomic bites. There we go. So oh no. Um, they're real small. Like I said, they're used for, um, crappie fishing. It's got, like, a tadpole looking. It's got a white head. And I say, looks like a lizard. It's got two, like, little legs and a long tail. And a small hook. And it come with, came with a little more bodies with it. So, um, uh, I'm putting them backwards. Let's open the bucktail jigs. Okay. Let's get one out. Come on there. It's orange and black. It's got the orange and black hair. It's not as, like, what do you want to call it? Um... Uh, Let's say as much hair as I've seen with other ones, but um, I'm guessing like when a fish bites onto it, it can get like compressed together real tight. And I'm guessing this is just for like bass fishing. I don't know if you can use it for anything else. So you can do different and multiple retrieves on it. So and here's the walleye rigs. And we're going to open this real quick. Oh, not quite. Okay. It's got a... Oh, it's tangled. Whoops. Oh. Ow! There's a hook there. Um, it's real long. No, it's not. Good. It's got seven beads, two red ones, and four gold ones. Five? No, four. No, it's six beads then. Sorry, not bad. And it's got a Colorado number five paddle on it. It's gold. I'll fix that later. But it is really long. And I noticed that on the power bait atomic mites that there it opens and I didn't know that. So I'm going to read you a little about it of how, what other kinds they have. They have the jig and it says thread jig hook through bait and it's got kind of like the ones I just showed you but in the tail it's split and it's they can do different things with it. You can jig it and you can rig it and then it's a bobber way. They have a number one leech, they have minnow, minnow head, fish fry and maggots and waxies. I didn't know that. Okay, so. Like I said, I was going to show y'all how to do the worms, uh, not the worms, but the stampy lure and the quarter ounce jig. It's got two eyes on it, as y'all can see. And it's a quarter ounce and it's, the head is really heavy. So let me show y'all how to do this. Let's get one out. Okay. You okay? So, uh, we're gonna stick it down. It's a swim bait. You're gonna stick it down to the third line in the back. So, and then you're gonna bring it back out. You're going to push it up to the head over the bow. And it looks like that. And it'll swim like this in the water. Um, like this. I mean, this is how it looks. And here's the Gary Yam um, Yamamoto. These are. I've heard his a lot of his worms are compacted with a lot of salt so it floats different than other worms. And I mean like it's um 
is really good. I mean, when we were in Huntington, Tennessee, like we were coming from Walmart and we saw his truck and his boat. It was really cool. You know, I mean, like you can feel the salt from like when you touch the worm. And you can Texas rig it or wacky rig it. And I call it when they like, isn't this the wacky rig where you put it, say we clap it when it's on our poles? I guess that's why it's called a wacky rig. And, um, uh, this, that's all I have for you today. Click the like and subscribe button down below and click the link to get a secret bait box. And stay tuned for more videos. Bye!